All right, good afternoon. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Uh, week 13, game 12 for Tulane football. Uh, this week we're hosting Tulsa, 7 p.m. on Friday night on ESPNU. Um, a couple things about the game. Uh, obviously, it's Black Friday, so we have some Black Friday specials for the fans. Uh, our tickets will start at $20. Fans 18, eight, ages 18 and under will be admitted free of charge. They just need to go to the ticket office to get that ticket. Um, and finally, local area college students uh, will be admitted for free uh, with, their, with a valid I, a, ID. Um, in our continued effort to ensure the safety of our fans and patrons uh, and the venue itself, um, we've enhanced our security screening for Friday's game. So we'll have uh, wands and head, hand meddling detecting and bike checking going on uh, at each gate. So I just know the fans can expect that when they come to the game on Friday. Uh, and now here's our head coach, Curtis Johnson. First of all, let me announce the injuries. Tanner Lee throwing hand, he's out for Friday. Devin Bro day to day. Roger Tr Teamers day to day. Monroe's day to day. And Richard Allen still hadn't passed but concussion protocol, so we won't have him. Last Saturday night was probably one of the most disappointing overall games that I've been I've been around, especially in in probably a couple years. You know, the one thing you you think, you know, your team's pretty much ready to play. And I thought we were ready to play early on. Couldn't get nothing going offensively early on. And then all of a sudden, you know, the defense was playing outstanding, had them backed up. And all of a sudden we get a block uh, kick, you know, for a six. And you still feel good about it. But I just never thought our team, after that, uh, we kind, they kind of let the wind out of our, our sail. And um, our defense didn't tackle well from then on. We didn't, we didn't play, play like we were capable of playing. Offensively, we kind of got a little bit ball moving, but didn't run it like we wanted to and, you know, against that team. And, you know, my hat goes off to, to, to those guys. It was the seniors. It was their last night. It, they had to rally cry. You know, Chad talked to me before the game, and he said, we got to play good this, this game. And, and that's, you know, and they did, and they played really well. They probably played their best overall game all year. And unfortunately, we, we probably played our worst. And so that's what happens when that happens. And, our, and, and kids, coaches, everybody got to understand, you can't play like that ever. Any questions? Uh, is, is Jordy going to go ahead and get the start? And if so, who, who's going to be his uh, primary backup? Yeah, Jordy's going to get the start. I think Glenn, we're going to try Glenn out. I want to take a good look at Glenn, you know, see what, see what he can do, if he can do something. And then Devin will be, will be there also. Will Glenn play no matter what? Or, or? You, you, well, right now he, we, he's, he's, he's planning on playing no matter what, you know, just because, you know, it's, it's, it's his time to see what, see what Glenn can do. Can you tell us the extent of Lee's injury and just how disappointing it is that he's been battling injuries, won't be there for the season finale? Yeah, yeah well, it's, 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 it's the other finger. His other finger's broke. Two, he has two broken fingers. And then you mentioned um, last week they, the senior class played up for the seniors. Just talk a little bit about this, the senior day here, and these are the seniors you came in with and how emotional that'll be. Well, well most, most of them I came in with. I didn't, like, red wine and... and uh, you know, Turo, I, I, they were here a little bit before me. But look, this, this is the first class. I would say this, Darian Monroe was the bell collar of this class. He was the one guy that just, you know, that you say embodies Tulane football, the way he plays, what he does, how he handles himself. So, you know, you want to send him out, and Royce LaFrance is another guy who came in. Even, even though I, those guys, I didn't, Corey and those guys didn't come in with me, but they've been with me throughout the whole program, him, he and Arturo. You know, so these are the guys that you really want to, and, I, and my, I, my whole cry this week been, send these guys out on a win. Send these guys, guys out on a great game, a great win. They mean so much to me. You know, every meeting, every spring practice, every weight room, you see these guys, they always work and they're always doing the right thing. They just mean so much to me. Talk a little bit more about Darian and just what he's meant uh, both on the field and off the field for this program. The consummate leader. He's, he's, he's a pro player. You know, his leadership is outstanding. You see him on the field. You see him off the field. He's getting guys going to class. He's, he's on guys, you know, about the dorms. He's on guys about the, 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 uh, the meal room and stuff like that. On the field, he's a coach on the field. He can come in right now and be a, be a, be a one, of, one great football coach. I think one thing he did, he changed his body this year. He's got, gotten faster. He's more athletic, and I think he'll get an opportunity to play on. 
Let's talk, talk about that. Uh, do, do you think he has a good chance to play at the next level? Absolutely. You know what? One thing, he's smart enough. You know, he reminds me of, you know, a guy who, who played for many, many years in the, in the league. He reminds me a little bit of Ryan Clark. Very, very smart behind his years and very, very physical and, and can do a lot of everything. Tulsa's got a prolific passing attack, and your defense has probably struggled more against the pass than the run for the most part this year. What do you? What What needs to happen? In this you know, game? I think what we got to do is we got to play our front four. Got to come out and play like like they're capable of playing. Our co coverage has been been pretty decent. You know, with, with, with Perry, I think he's been he's picked his game up better. You know, we got to back up if Richard Allen's not playing. So I think that's that's where we got to just continue to play, and we got to just do some play some zone, some man, just keep mixing the coverages in. Coach, will you um, – I know you're going to have to address it at some point, either this week or next week or whatever. The future, how do you feel about it? Do you, do you feel like you've made progress? You know, when will you meet with the administration, all of that stuff? Well, whenever, whenever – I, I, I don't, we don't – whenever I guess they hire a new day, I, AD, I'll meet with them. I'll probably meet with Rick sometime next week or whenever we, we, usually, we usually have meetings. You know, I think we did, we're making some progress, you know. It's just unfortunate the type of league we've been in this league has been very, very, very tough. I got 18 guys coming back, 18 starters coming back on a football team that's, that we didn't play as well as we want to, but there are some parts of this, that, that, of this team that I really, really like. I like these running backs that's coming back. You know, I like what Tanner has done in his improvement. We got to, you know, spruce up this offensive line. This defensive front is almost all coming back with Tanzel and those guys. I like that my, the linebackers. I like Perry Nickerson and what he's doing and some of the other young guys, Teamer and those guys. So there's a lot to be proud of. There's a lot. This kicker, we found a kicker. We found a punter. So there's a lot going on that's going right. It's just unfortunate. We ran into one of these seasons that we couldn't get some stuff going, and, and we ran against some really good football teams. I'm sorry, Coach. As a follow-up, as far as the offense is concerned, when, when you evaluate that, what will you be looking for? You, I know you talked about the offensive line. Um, do, you, do you think that your scheme is good? All, all of that kind of stuff. Can you kind of talk about all of that? Please? Yeah, you know, I think you gotta, we got to evaluate all of it. You know, we didn't, we didn't do very good on offense the last couple of years. And I, and I attributed to last year until we played so many freshmen a year ago. Now there's sophomores. We should play better. In offense, so I got to look at the schematically. I got to look at what we're doing. I got to look at you know all facets of it, what we coaching, who we coaching, and and how we coaching, and doing all those things. So the offense will definitely get be very, very, very scrutinized in this off season. The offensive line you definitely got to play better. You know we got to we got to upgrade that. You know I think we got some young kids again on the team that's that's very athletic. You know we got to see what they can do, and hopefully. You know, I'm praying that we make it get some help from a transfer or two somewhere, which hadn't happened, but I, I just hope that that could happen also. Anybody else? Thank you, guys.